We discovered that when people try replay music, they buy replay music more times than not because it's easy to use and it works really well. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to use and how well it works by recording Pandora.com. So I've got the program open. I click start recording. Um, I'm just for the album default. You just type in Pandora, and then down here um, I have always always have this box check add tracks to iTunes, but you could add tracks to Window Media Player or both or not at all. Just click OK. Green button turns red, and it's all ready to start recording. You then go online, go to Pandora, and I created a radio station based on a Coldplay song. So I'm just going to let that station um, play for a little while. Here it is. And once the station starts playing, Replay Music is going to start recording. So stay tuned. So I, I'm just going to finish recording. Just click Stop. Click OK to cancel to transfer to iTunes. It'll bring up iTunes, but I quit out of that. Um, you can see that I got 11 tracks, all beautifully t tagged with title, artist, album, and genre. Um, it'll uh, Replay Music will do that with any stream, provided that there is a pause in between the individual tracks so that it knows when one song has started and another has ended. Um, it's very easy to edit tracks. If they didn't get tagged properly, all you have to do is highlight it, edit track, and then it'll um, you can type in what you want. Um, but otherwise, it's pretty straightforward. It's a great way to discover new music or rediscover old favorites. Um, and it's a really wonderful tool for anybody who's got an MP3 player, an iPod. Um, it can burn to CD too, so it's a wonderful way to make sure you can take your digitized music with you, and it makes a wonderful gift. Uh, the demo version allows you 25 tracks, and then to purchase it uh, is not expensive, so take a peek and enjoy checking it out. Like I said, people who try it tend to buy it because it works well and it works really easily. So enjoy!